So the only actual uh, schooled uh, actor we had was the lead, which is Una, and which is uh, Peter Aspect, which is here today. We would like to welcome him. The whole thing was that I knew that the character, he was a physical guy, he doesn't have any much words in his films. So we had to make Ohne uh, the observator, he's, as a, he works with his eyes and with his body. And that was like the, the key to, to this character. When you have two directors, you know, they work together. I'm like, I'm like the, 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 the puppet somehow. I have to visualize their ideas some, some way. But the thing is that, I, I don't know, I've only tried to work with these two directors once, you know, but the thing was that those guys, were so strong about their story and what they wanted, so there weren't any conflict. And if there was, and I never experienced it one throughout two months of shooting, they would discuss it after or before the day of the, the day we should work with it. So I didn't see it. What we decided was to, to make a film where we observed our characters, where we didn't go on a journey with them. And most of these other prison movies I've seen is some kind of a hero's journey where you climb up the ladders. What we would like to do was to tell the story about the prison. So, well, R is the first letter of, letter of the two main characters, Ona and Rashid. <clears throat> and the guy playing the mason in the film, his name is Roland Müller. He's uh, our friend and colleague, and he's helped us a lot with the script. But the thing about him is he's an uh, ex-convict. And he spent uh, five, year, five years of his life in, on this wall in this prison. So at the time when we started to write the script, we couldn't call it Roland Müller because we didn't agree with him yet. So I just called it R. And then we, when we developed the idea and the method of the film, um, the whole concept, we discovered that the thing that is just called R, it's very cold, and that would represent the feeling of being in prison. When you go to prison, you're not a name anymore, you're, you're not a person, you're just a number or, or a letter. So it made sense for us. I think me wearing glasses and looking like a, a nice geek makes, uh, <laughs> gives, gives me a huge benefit. I don't have any tattoos at all. So I'm, I'm like an alien to them, which makes it very good because then I can become like a parasite and I'm, you know, I'm just troublesome for them at least. So, uh, so I think I think they just considered us as uh, as visitors in their world, and I think that what made us safe, and I think it's also what what actually we just give, gave them respect, and we just looked them in the eyes. Thank you very much for, uh, for being here. 